I'll show you the preview of this form. Right? So this is the feedback form. Email address, name, your profession. And I have to fill in this information to go on to the next section. This is the purpose of section. Right? Before I fill in the form and I'll show you how it is looking. I'll fit in some logics here. Right? Now what is the logic? This section 1 is a general information which I require from everyone. So I will leave it as it is. Right? Now, if a person has selected student, he will move on to the next section that is after section 1, continue to next section. Right? But if the person is faculty, then also he will be continued to the next section. Right? So what I can do here, I can give the logics to the Google form. That is, if a person is student, then he should be directed to section 2. If the person is faculty, then he should be directed to section 3. And if the person is corporate delegate, then he should be directed to section 4. So what I can do here, I can give the instructions. Right? So click on this drop down arrow. Now, what is happening here in the section 1? If in the feedback form, if it's a student's information, right? Go to section 2. And after section 2, the person should submit the form right he should not be proceeding on to the faculties or to the corporate delegates information i will what will i do here i will choose this option go to section based on answer right my sections which i have formed are based on the answer that is if a person selects students he should be directed to student section if a person select faculty, he should be directed to faculty section and so on. So I will choose this, go to section based answer. From where did I got this? From this three dots button, I have chosen go to section based answer. Right? So if a person, person has chosen student, then continue to which section? Students information section. If a person has chosen faculty, then continue to section 3, which is faculty's information. If a person has chosen corporate delegates, then the person should be directed to section 4, which is corporate delegates information. Right? And I will click here, continue to next section. Why I have done this continue to next section? So that the person is redirected to the section where it is fitted better. So now after section 2, I want the person to submit the form. So I have click on submit form. After section 3, I want the person to not to go to section 4. Then obviously what is the option? That is to submit the form. So click here, submit the form. And section 4, since it's the last section of the Google form, it will automatically be submitted. So now let us preview this form. So this is my feedback form. This is the general information which I am asking from everyone. So let's say... Name, profession, faculty. Now, next. See, I am directed to the faculty's information section. Designation, assistant professor, department, 
commerce any suggestion that you wish to give not applicable i will submit the form directly from this section suppose i have clicked on student right then i should be redirected to the student section clicking on next yes i have been redirected to the student section suppose i am a corporate delegate and i click on this option then ideally i should be redirected to section of corporate delegates yes i have been redirected to that section only can you see it here i can fill in the information and then i can submit the form so this is how sections and logics works in google form it's very beneficial for uh, the participants if you have participants from different domain from different areas and different fortes it is also very useful uh, say if you are uh, making a form course wise right say uh, obviously the commerce has different subjects the economics has different subjects science has different subjects right so what you can do here that you can create course wise section right so the general information that you wish to ask from students that's their name roll number course year that's the general information right after this when they click on course then they should be redirected to their particular courses section that is the important part right so this is the purpose of sections and logics and it is very important to link one section with the another section and it is even more important to link one section with the another correct section right so this is all about in sections and logics i hope uh, this information was useful and the session was enjoyable thank you